watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Alright, so this is going to be a random ramblings video. Not going to be the most precise video that you're going to see me make. Probably going to make a, a few blunders along the way, let's say. So let's just try to be a little more tolerant of uh, mistakes in this video. But I'm going to look at some slips and sheaves and try to determine you know, what some good budget value slips and sheaves are and go through some different things and maybe provide some ideas that will be helpful to you guys. And uh, in my journey in trying to discover what it is that there's out there on Smoky Mountain Knife Forks and Chicago Knife Forks, that's a good deal. First thing up, I wanted to look at this particular guy. This is, uh, this is the carry-all folding knife slip pouch. Model number is AC130. You get this on Chicago Knife Works for $1.30. Now it says here that you can only fit something up to four and a half, and maybe that's the case with you know the the top edge of the pouch being only that high, but you can fold over and you don't need to necessarily cover the entire knife to allow it to fit. And the reason I say that is because if I just use these not in my pocket but to carry uh, well to hold the knife inside of a storage cabinet and just protect it from being banged around now you saw at the beginning of the video I have like that machine's chest that has really slender drawers that are not real tall so you kinda have to lay the knives flat and in order to do that you might need to stack them on top of each other a little bit and might get banged around so way to protect them and that storage cabinet is a uh, to use some of these on the bottom and then nothing gets scratched up. So just an idea to protect your knives in storage. That's kind of the idea of that. And you know, this is a five and three eighths inch knife. So it'll it'll hold, you know, a pretty decent size knife if you just plan to kind of fold that flap over and not try to tuck that in there. So there's just one little idea. And again, those are a dollar and thirty cents a piece, so you can buy quite a few for storage purposes. Okay, up next we have this Sheaves Leather Belt in Lizard. Uh, this was $6.49, this model number SH1185. Now, I never tried out any of these uh, pouch knives. These are like, you know, the pretty cheap uh, Mexican-made pouches. Nothing fancy, but honestly, Pouches are made in Mexico from buck, too, so, I mean, it's, Mexico's not exactly, like, a, a cheap place to have a pouch made. It's just that these particular style are not my favorite. Now, I bought this knife to try to accommodate this large uh, USA Parts Chinese-made shred. You know, not non-authentic shred, I suppose you'll call it. It's a rather thick knife, so I needed something to accommodate it. Now this will hold that no problem. Problem is, I'm not a particularly big fan of this back leather piece. And when you look on the website, all you have to see is the front. They don't give you a rear photo. So I didn't know that was on there. I was hoping it would be more like a, a buck type, you know, sheath where there's a, an actual leather strap sewed on the back. But that is not the case with this guy, so... Probably continue to keep looking, but these are uh, $6.49 if you're just going to carry something you're not concerned about scuffing up with the belt running through the back of the pouch, then hey, pretty good deal. And it is genuine leather. Um, don't really have a problem with the leather or the look. It's The look of it's not bad at all, really. And they're pretty sturdy and it's, you know, it seems to be sewn really well. It's just not a fan of that style loop on the back. So... My search will continue, but maybe that's something that you guys would enjoy. And I do, I mean, if you if you give it the smell test, it smells really good. It's really very much genuine leather. So, pretty good value at $6.50. Just not what I was looking for. Okay, up next, we have another sort of disappointment here. This one's probably the largest disappointment of all of them. This is the Svord mini peasant sheath this is model number sv 110 now this is supposed to come straight from you know the bw baker's ford p 
people that are make the makers of the knife. And if you look at the picture, this does not match what they show you. So that kind of upset me. But at $5.19, it just wasn't worth wasting my time sending it back. But what they show on the website is like a more of a suede type leather with some dark stitching. Right? And it's doubled up over here at the top where the entry point is. So it looks a lot nicer than what I received. This thing has a rivet at the bottom and the, bo and the top. Not that I'm opposed to that, but it's just completely 100% different from what is pictured. Um, the out exterior uh, feel of the leather isn't very good. It's kind of almost, uh, I don't know, almost like a pleather feel to it, even though it's not. You can feel the interior and tell it's actual leather. Passes the smell test, so you know it is. It is actual leather, but. Uh, when you first get it, it doesn't fit particularly well. It needs to be worked up quite a bit to get it to flatten out like you see here. It's kind of disfigured at the top whenever you put it in there. So it takes a little work. Uh, just kind of a cheaply made pouch. Not particularly fond of it. But it does the job. And again, I'll probably just kind of be in the search for something a little better. But uh, $5.19 for this guy. Okay, up next... Okay, well, we've talked about this before. I have, anyway, on a previous Random Ramblings video. But this is the three sizes of Rough Rider slips that you can buy. And they vary in price slightly. The The cheapest is the $2.28 that you get for the small, small, ship, small slip. And it's $2.60 for the medium-sized one. And then you're up to $3.25 for the large one. Now, all those prices are from Chicago Knife Works. And these are made by, you know, the same people that make your Rough Riders. You know, they were brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. But the thing I like about these is even in, even though they're not 100% consistent, like some of them are going to end, end up being softer leather than others that you buy. Some of them will be a little more stiff. They do really seem to vary quite a bit from uh, slip to slip. But even the best of them, um, or the worst of them, start to break in pretty good. With a little bit of treatment and some uh, use, they do tend to break in really well eventually. It may take you a little time, but uh, you can see this. This is probably not one of the better small ones that I bought, and it looks pretty good now. And you can see that uh, I use this... What model is this? 104. This is a 104 OT, old timer, Chinese made one. And that fits in there really well. So you have anything up to like, I don't know, maybe, what does it say? It says up to three inches closed. Now this, this guy is just shy of three inches, maybe like two and three quarter. So yeah, I could see that up to three inches closed. And they do make for a really nice little slip for the small knives. Probably my favorite for a small knife. I, I haven't really found another option for a small knife slips that works as well as these guys. So I definitely would recommend this, but just need to be patient when you when you buy them. It takes a lot of conditioning, a lot of hand you know, oils off your hands, and and some use to really uh, break in and start to feel like the style of slip that you're probably looking for. Now I put this little rattlesnake style lanyard on here. You can find uh, ways of tying these style knots on YouTube. They're all over the place. And this is just one that I I just literally used a YouTube video to watch. I mean, I'm no knot tying expert or anything. and I was able to do that. So makes for a nice little lanyard pull there. And I like that it has the little holes on these guys. This next one's the medium, and uh, it's supposed to fit up to four inch closed knife. I've got a uh, Boker camp knife in here, and it fits perfectly. I've broken that in there really well, and uh, used this quite a bit for my Boker carry. So, uh, yeah, nice little Boker camp knife. I reviewed this fellow, Boker Magnum. But it fits really well in there. And you see, I've broken that in there 
<clears throat> excuse me, pretty good. Got the uh, clevis on there to use to remove it. Nice tight fit, not coming out of there. And then uh, you've got the large, and the large is $3.25. This is model number RR2245. And I have my cattleman's knife in this guy. And I uh, just give it a little pinch. And it could slide right out of there. Now this is the larger cattleman's knife. This is that marbles. Um, let's see what the closed length on this one is. Just over four inches. I'm going to call it like four and an eighth, right? And it fits perfectly in here. Nice broad knife. You know, pretty thick. It's got double springs, but one's actually extra wide. So you're looking at like a, you know, probably a 5 8 inch knife in width. And uh, it fits in there just right. Really happy with the way that that broke in. So, yeah, really all of these are solid. Um, I would recommend you try any of these out for a lot of different patterns. This medium one has really been useful to me for sow bellies uh, when I carry sow belly. And any of the smaller old timers, I like in these. So like if you have a Mighty Mite or some other smaller, you know, old timer uh, pattern, these work really well for that. Uh, they're, they're a great little smaller uh, knife carry. But uh, yeah, recommend those highly. Just... Buy those as many as you want because you can end up breaking them in. Some are going to be better than others. I mean, I'd probably just honestly buy like three each to start with and just kind of play around with different ones. If you have a fairly like, fairly large knife collection like I do, you're definitely going to find knives that will fit them. All right, another really good bargain is this particular sheath. Um... Now, it's not quite the bargain it used to be because uh, they sold out of the red and the brown. They have both red and brown. Uh, here's, the, here's the brown one. Okay. And now the, all they have left is blue and green. And I'll show you the website here. These are $11.99 for two pieces. So basically you're getting them for less than $6 a piece. But when I got these, they were like $9.99 for a pair. So the value has gone down slightly, but not much. I mean, these still very good suede style um, little slips. Now, you see that they are susceptible to little scratches and stuff like that. I mean, that's just sort of how they are. You could probably maybe try to lessen the way that that shows with some conditioning, but uh, they do scratch up a little bit. That's just kind of the nature of the suede. But... Uh, even still, I just feel like the leather on them is so nice that it's worth, you know, putting up with that. Now, I've got some large Texas Stockmans fitted in here. This is a full, you know, like four and three quarter inch knife. So it's nearly five inches. And uh, I found that it fits in there really well for this particular knife. Now, I like to put the blade toward the seam where it's been sewn. That seems to be the best way that it fits. If you try to put it in a different direction, it doesn't work nearly as well. So just keep that in mind whenever you try to shape your shape your sheath or your slip a little bit over time. That uh, Maybe just kind of play around with different positions of the knife to find what fits best. But for this particular pattern, I find if you put the blade towards the the seam, it works best. And you can see that slides in there really nicely. And here's the red one. I've got the Celestial in here. Texas Stockman. All right. And that fits in there really nice. Now, since these were so cheap, I decided to modify one of the, uh, the red ones here. You can see I, I cut the angle here down this way and then rounded the top to accommodate a slightly smaller knife. When I had this one in here, you just sort of swallowed it up a little bit. And so for just a slightly smaller knife, you can just easily modify that with a pair of scissors or some kind of sharp cutting tool. 
and, uh, and make for a little smaller length on the on the sheath. And in this one, I have that uh, Michele Ferraccio, uh little folding knife here, like a Navajo type type knife, almost beautiful, beautiful blade on these. So. Yeah, makes, works really well. And then with that bell on there, I'm able to pull that out. No problem at all. But these were designed for pins, so they were really never designed for knives. That's kind of another thing that I should mention is that I oftentimes try to find, um, you know, something that's designed for something else that works for knives. Because almost all the time when you buy something for a knife, I don't know why it is, but they always seem to want to charge more, right? Um, so if you can find an alternative use for these pouches, uh, I feel like you're getting more value there because, you know, a pen pouch doesn't seem as appealing as a knife pouch, right? I guess they feel like they can charge more. So again, these are like $12 for the blue or the green. I think the green are $13, but again, you're getting a pair. So they're still really affordable on Amazon. And, uh, you know, maybe these brown and blue or brown and red ones will come back in stock eventually. But there you go with those. And those are just generic, so I don't really have a name for them. Okay, up next. Oh, another cheapie. This was another really cheap pouch um, from Chicago Knife Works and Smoky Mountain Knife Works offers this one. This is uh, the SH. 1169 if you go to the website this is uh yeah on chicago knife works it's model number sh 1169 and it's okay it's a it's one of those where if you modified it i think it would be a little better the leather again is really consistent some of them are going to be better than others you mean if you bought three of them they're not none of them are going to be the same but these work for really slender patterns um they don't really accommodate a whole ton of different variety. So this is very much a specific style. Like, you know, you need to have a knife that's nice and slender and a little bit long to fit into one of these. This isn't going to fit like a sow belly or anything with a little, you know, very much width. I put this Queen Warrencliffe in there. It works really well for this particular guy. But you can see that's a pretty slender knife. Not particularly wide and not... You know, it doesn't have a lot of girth to it. Um, again, I'd like to put the blade side towards the seam. It seems to work best in that direction. Just give it a little pinch at the back here, and then it slides right out. Like that. There you go. And this has kind of been broken in as well. I've carried that quite a bit with a, another knife, but it seems to work really well with this Warren clip too. But these are $2.69, or sorry, $2.59. But I caution anybody who wants to buy these to make sure you have a knife that you think is going to fit because they don't accommodate a whole lot of different things. Much like a, much in between in size, between a small and a medium Rough Rider slip. I think this is kind of where that fits in. Okay. Um, again, model number SH1169, $2.59. Okay, what else do we have? So this one doesn't seem to be available any longer. Um, I think that they're probably just out of stock on Amazon. This is the Bertrand de Lussac. And this is a specific, uh, you know, this is a purpose-made sheath for Apinel. But uh, this fits both my Apinel and my Antonini Old Bear. So either one will fit just fine. Now this is a number 8 Apinel. And... Uh, it, it's just a stainless steel blade on this guy, but uh, this is a, you know, like I said, purpose-made sheath. And when you put it in there, you can see how the knife has that nice uh, swell on the back. You're allow, you allows you to kind of pinch it with your fingers and pull it out. So for that reason, the sheath works really well for that. And uh, this does not have any kind of belt loop carry, so this is definitely just a pocket slip. And... Uh, yeah, works. I mean, they're it's a basically ideal pouch. I mean, it's exactly what 
it's advertised to be able to fit a number seven and a number eight and I've got a number eight in here and I can tell you it works just great so I do like that one I don't really remember what I paid but I'm sure it was under ten dollars so when those come back as stock if ever uh, yeah I do recommend you checking those out if you have an opinil all right so the next one up uh, I don't have an image of that right at the second but this is a uh, this was again uh, one of those things where I bought it. It was purpose built for a comb, and uh, it was just a folding comb. And uh, I'll get the image up on here to show you guys. I don't have it in front of me, but it was uh, eight dollars, and it was a folding comb that fit in here. You can see it says fold comb on here, and it has like a skull on it. And I believe the knife or the uh, the comb itself that comes with it also had like a skull pattern on it but I wasn't really interested in the comb uh, I was just gonna see if this because the dimensions look like it would fit a sunfish and there's not a whole lot of pouches out there that are wide enough to fit a sunfish so I thought well let's try this out and give it a shot and it works great and uh, fits right in there no problem at all might be a little loose simply just because it's not a firm firm grip like if you push it in and there pretty good, it's still gonna kind of slide out. A lot of it has to do with the the lining on the inside. It's not the like highest quality thing in the world, but it has a really soft like felt lining in there. And uh, you know, the leather is pretty cheap, not the most top green style leather or anything like that. But it fits in there and does a good job to protect the sunfish. And it's probably one of the few things you're gonna be able to buy that'll that'll hold it. I just haven't found anything else, you know, higher quality. But, uh, you know, for $8, heck, it does the job. You know, and in the meantime, you can look for something maybe a little better or have something custom made. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, I might, might call on you, J.O. Ventures Outdoors. Uh, perhaps send you a sunfish to make a custom style slip for it because uh, I'm just not finding anything else out there it might be a little more conforming and a little give you a little tighter fit uh, fit because you can see that comes right out of there if you hold it upside down but that'll work fine in your pocket it's not going anywhere and I actually sent one of these to uh, RJ's knife to try out and see if he liked it so he seems to be okay with it seems to be carrying it with that so uh, that's about as much feedback as I've gotten on that. Okay, up next, we've got a hide and drink. Now, I don't have that picture in front of me anymore either, but this is a, this is a medium style slip, but also rather slender. So it won't accommodate a ton of different knives. It is big enough to fit, say, a sow belly or something like that. And uh, I do really, really like the leather. Again, it's sort of a suede design, so it'll take those scratches. Um, if that's a thing that annoys you, you know, maybe maybe go elsewhere with that. But uh, really nice leather, very pliable and very soft and very, you know, just pleasing to hold. Has that nice texture to it that I like. And I've got my Joker Iberica in here. This is a, a knife I reviewed recently and probably even showed the sheath on the review itself. But again, blade to the seam side. And it fits in there like a glove. Put with the lanyard that was already stock on the knife, just a little tug, and that comes right out. But the uh, hide and drink, you can see on the back here, this is made in Guatemala. Um, these sheaves have gone up considerably in price. I think I paid $7 for this, and now they're asking like 16 I mean, it's stupid. I don't know why they went up as much as they did. But I believe I bought like three of them when they were pretty affordable. And I definitely recommend, uh, you know, if, if you have one particular knife that you want to try out, you know, give it a shot. Buy one. And if you're happy with it, maybe buy more. But uh, they're not quite the value they used to be. I'm not sure why they went up so much in price. But again, these were made for like a comb. So I'm, I'm using an alternative purpose for these guys. Um, again, if you're trying to buy like 
a sheath of this or a slip of this quality, you're probably going to pay a lot more if it's designed specifically for a knife. So, yeah, I'm just kind of looking for, uh, for, for ideas that uh, maybe go beyond uh, the normal knife slip search. But anyway, there's my video, guys. Um, hopefully that provides some ideas. And I'll show the websites for all these different slips. And uh, I think the only one not available was this, uh, this Bertrand. But I know there are other makers that have Oppenel slips, so you're still in luck if you're trying to find something like that for your for your Oppenel or your Antonini Old Bear. But that's going to do it for the little random rambling I had today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, providing some ideas, you know, different things, whether it be protection or something that you're looking for for a slip. But uh, anyway, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh i hope that you guys have a fantastic day and please do take care